All right, so it's, well, yeah, so this is uh, 30 megs of cash, right? And this one has 1,300, okay. It's like an extra God knows how much L2 cash and 36 megs of cash. But it didn't do anything. Which doesn't make any sense. So it, it, it might be that um, I tuned the memory fast enough that it didn't need the cash. Or it's accessing memory fast enough where it doesn't need it. That's my thought, right? This would make more of a difference if you had slow memory, I think, right? So that's the only conclusion I can think of, right? So maybe um, it, uh, the mainstream tech tubers, if they benchmark with like 6,000, they'll probably use that 6,000 kit they got with, uh, with uh, the AMD kits, right? Then this might show up as a larger difference. <laughs> Yeah, maybe DDR4 will be the play. But even then, what's one to two bins better than a 12900K? 4266? Who cares? I don't think that's going to make as much of a difference as people think. Right? You'd From 4,000 to 4,400 would be 10% bandwidth, right? That's not that much. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I think... Um, you know, okay, hang on. Let's go to the screen here. Let's just go right into it. You know what the thing is? It's like when you when you benchmark CPUs, like think about it from like um a, a graph standpoint, right? You have like the 12700K. I even throw a 10900K in there, right? You have a 10900K, 12700K, 12900K. You have like a 5800 X3D like in here. Right? And then you have like a X3D. And then you have like a 7950X in there as well, like in here. 79. This is so messy. Right? And then you have like a 13900K here. But what's the FPS difference between all of these? Like 10? Like who cares? That's the thing. Like, eh, or, or just go back to um, my DDR5 versus DDR4. It was like DDR5 7600 was what, 5% faster? So, so it's like, okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't, there's always this weird hopium, like, like maybe ddr4 do you remember when ddr5 first came out and there was like hopium like maybe when we hit ddr5 8000 it will win yeah but win by how much one percent where's the hopium coming from so even if like um let's say 13 900k ddr5 is like a hundred percent let's say baseline right and then 13 900k d4 is like 95 baseline and it's like 12 900k d5 is like 97 percent baseline this is like let's say this is like 100 fps and this is 95 fps like who fucking cares you know what you know what you're seeing you're seeing a symptom of you're seeing a symptom of people not having a goal on a grand scale and they're clinging on to they're clinging on to the way things used to be right back in the day you had like a 7700k to 8600k massive jump or 8700k and then uh, to 9900K, massive jump. 10900K, massive jump. 12900K, massive jump, right? But uh, uh, I think Jensen, like the NVIDIA CEO called it, didn't he? He's like, dude, we're approaching the limit of fucking silicon here. Like, that's it. Like, that's it, boys. The, like, hardware is over, pretty much. Like, he's like, stop getting hyped for it, right? There's nothing there. Even if the 10900K is 5% faster. Max OC. 
even if I was completely wrong, let's say I was completely wrong and off base and it's 5% faster. My numbers are not wrong though, okay? 5% faster. Max OC. Okay. So one guy is getting 220 FPS. The other guy is getting 230 FPS. That's 5%. You're 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 stoked over that? 231 FPS. You're stoked over that? Does that this excites you? Dude, this this that that's a huge we have a huge problem in the hardware space if this excites you, right? It basically means you don't play games and you're in it for the hardware. But like, dude, you're gonna You're gonna have to find a new hobby in the next three or four years here. Because there's not going to be any more tweaking. It's over. When you, when when buying a product, ask yourself what your goal really is. Then you have fucking denial people like RBK, right? He's like, my goal is 240 FPS minimum. And then what? He could he couldn't answer, right? He's like, uh maybe then i will be at peace no you won't no you won't buddy no you won't that's not how consumerism works that's not how social conditioning works man no you won't then the 360 hertz monitor is gonna come out sit no that's what i'm saying doesn't matter uh let me catch up here but if you are like rbk here please use my affiliate links there's gonna be people out there that are just in so much fucking denial that they just keep buying shit uh i would like to monetize you if possible that would keep the lights on right you're my target audience the denial fuckers are my audience right they're they're who i target uh let me catch you actually get a dopamine we've been conditioned this way from birth by the way with commercials and all that shit but you get a dopamine spike when you buy something the same as a drug user you're on drugs when you if you have a consumerism problem you're on drugs dude i have two 40 90s and they're sitting right there on the desk i have no use for them whatsoever nothing i have zero fucking use for those graphics cards What's, what's my goal? My goal is Overwatch. So here's the thing about the 4090, right? If, in case you missed that last stream, right? The 4090, it does like 1440p 300, like no problem, right? Like no fucking problems on the 4090, right? In Warzone. Now, now here's the other thing. The 3090 Ti does like let's say 230 fps and 1440p right no dlss none of that shit right now this one had like 230 lows and this one had like uh was it 200 lows right just for example so if you actually think about it even though this one says 300 230 divided by 200 it's 15% faster gameplay experience wise. Right? What's the goal? So, so the, here's, here's the context, right? You could argue that nothing ever changes if you compare lows. Because you got 15% for fucking $2,000, right? But it looks cool though. Right, so um, the graphics, but but it did change though. Like the 4090 did change, did change. I would say for single player games, single player 4K gaming. So if you're 1440p and lower, nothing changed for you. If you if you're a 4K high fidelity single player gamer, it's a good jump for you. Right, it's good. Play games, be happy. Nothing bad ever happens. Nothing ever changes. And dude, like I was saying in the Discord earlier, I've played I've played games with my fair share of the Discord people now. Just I'm trying to help you guys. I'm trying to be a bro here. You do not need hardware, okay? That is the dude. Dude. 
the hardware is not the lowest hanging fruit with your setup okay it's it's the player dude just trust me on this stop worrying about the fucking hardware just stop like you know i don't know man uh but but again i like to i like to monetize so so here's the thing i don't feel guilty monetizing denial as long as i tell you you're in denial first right then then my um my conscience is alleviated a little bit right so it's like it's like um uh let, let's say rbk one day i'm just i'm using his an example because he's the most recent person but i love the guy don't get me wrong right he's a character right he's like another galfano type so you have rbk right let's say i play a game with rbk for a second right and he like just dog shit okay and then he's in the discord later he's like guys i need the 360 hertz monitor and i'm like uh i don't think you do buddy right like i don't i don't think that's the play man and then if he and then if he's like hey i'm gonna go buy it anyway i'm like oh, okay if if you're gonna yolo that shit at least let me monetize you now right because I, I gave you the warning that was that the the player is the lowest hanging fruit right that's the i, I think that's a good way to go right because i'm not trying to screw anybody in fact i'm trying to fucking help you right but uh humans will be humans right they're gonna do whatever they want to do anyway right so it's it's not my job to go against the curve it's more like go with the flow of the river right and just you know pop up my head once in a while be like hey are you sure you're okay yep okay keep going with the flow of the river right that's all that's all i'm doing right we have the cores they got a multi-thread man there's right i don't I, I like what else can they do man we're at the the 139 so look go look at my uh 12 900 ks scaling video right we went from 5 gigahertz to 5.5 after like 5.2 5.3 the scaling stops i go on this guy's raptor lake i'm at 5.6 it's like two percent i'm like so it doesn't scale like it doesn't it'll scale in cinebench right but uh it's not there you know what i'm saying uh let me catch you up here and then the, the 13900 ks is gonna go to six gigahertz for for another one percent like what are they gonna do man that like like we we fucking peaked man we have peaked maybe dlss is the way to go some kind of artificial shit right right it's so either 7950x was what 280 high and uh what like 210 low with the 4090 right and it was uh uh what the heck was it 10 percent slower even that doesn't change your gaming experience right so we are hitting game limit moore's law limit take your pick software limit fucking technology limit like i don't know what you would even call it do technology limit like we're hitting a limit now when it comes to actual cpus that dude if you have a 10 900k you're still chilling 